Hi, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna try to show you how to use Starnet in Serial. In order to do that, I already opened up uh, one of my Rosetta Nebula uh, result fit files that I created with the Dwarf Telescope. Uh, it's already stacked and it's in auto stretch mode right now. First, before you can use Starnet in Serial, it's not automatically installed when you install Serial on the computer. You're gonna have to download Starnet from the website. You choose the Windows full install file and uh, you save it somewhere on the computer where you remember it. You can just leave it in the download file if you want to or somewhere safe. And uh, you have to open up the preferences tab on the on serial I don't do it again basically you click this uh, hamburger icon and then you go preferences and then you're gonna have to open the miscellaneous and then you're gonna have two things here on this one you want to have to find wherever you downloaded the serial uh, the starnet for Windows you're gonna have to find and actually after you because it was a zip file you have to execute it uh, um, and um, you're gonna have to find the executable file and you choose that and open it I already did so I'm not gonna do it again so you have to see this in this one and then you choose basically the location where it's gonna be installed okay and uh, then you click apply and at this point, uh, StarNet is going to work uh, when you try to use it. Alright, now, before you can use StarNet, it doesn't work in serial, at least. I tried it for me, it doesn't do a good job when it's a linear image. Uh, even if it's auto stretch or anything, it doesn't do a really good job. So you're going to have to do at least some stretching. I do recommend that you don't stretch it fully. Because there are some features at, uh, when you're recombining the star field with uh, nebulosity, then you can actually stretch it to the full, you know, the way you like it. So in order to to use Starnet, you're gonna have to stretch it at least halfway, so Starnet can recognize all the sun, uh, stars and and remove it the right way. Okay, so we're gonna have to basically stretch this image. I'm gonna do just a really quick one. Uh, well, I'm gonna go through the normal way. First of all, we're gonna crop it because we wanna get rid of the field rotation artifacts here, at least as much as we can. But I still like to see some of these stars here, so I don't gonna make it very small. And then right click, crop. Okay, after this, I'm gonna remove the green noise right here. Apply. Looks already nice. You see all this greenish stuff is gone right now. At this point, if you want to, you can link the channels. That's gonna give even more color to the image, as you see. But like I said, this is not a done thing. It's uh, not stretched yet. It's just an auto stretch. Anyway, so what we have to do after this, I'm going to do a color calibration. Automatic color calibration. I already typed in Rosetta Nebula. So it's right here. Make sure the focal length is, is right. I'm not even sure. Maybe I'm going to have to change it to 100 millimeter. Let's just give it a try. Yep, doesn't work. But this was, uh, looks like either a one by one image painting off so you just change it to 100 so you always pay attention when you do color calibration uh, that the focal length and the pixel size is the right way when you do two by two binning then you go with a 50 millimeter if you have a 4k binning then you go to 100 millimeter okay In your theater. All right, 
I just have to click the find button again. All right, I'm not gonna stop the video for this. Anyway, after this, when this is done, I'm just gonna do a quick color saturation. Uh, we don't want to do too much. Let's just see. Apply. Okay. When 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 this is done for now, the next thing what we're gonna do is gonna stretch the image like halfway. Okay. So we click to linear again, and uh, we're gonna go to the gener generalized hyperbolic stretch transformation. and uh, using the sliders basically first you, you stretch it uh, usually until you see the yeah this looks nice uh, maybe a little bit like this make sure that like I said, you doesn't have to have like a finished look or anything. You just do this so Starnet is going to recognize all these little stars here, okay? And can going to be able to remove it. Yeah, something like this is gonna do all right so we just click apply at this point okay we can close this and now we can go basically to store processing we click store processing and then store net store removal okay and then we're just gonna have to click execute This is something that amazingly fast in zero. Look at this. You already have like a nebulosity image. Now what you can do, you can start to work on your nebulosity basically. You can stretch it a little further before you want to recombine it with the stars. So I'm going to show you what you can do. We can already do a generalized hyperbolic stretch. So I'm going to go to histogram from here. And uh, like I said, some people like you can do like a automatic stretch here. You want to click this button, then the software gonna do. A, this is not not a perfect, but you know you can make adjustment to it. Okay, so you can make it darker. There you go. And every time, what if you did something? And you like it and you cannot go much further you can apply first that's gonna reset all the sliders so you can move them again now if the colors are not the way you like it you know you can you can turn off certain colors and just work on one or you know red green or blue channels only basically we can add some blue this way uh, see if we can achieve some uh, hubble colors like this you see is some blue showing up right there in the center so this is one way to do it in serial if you, if you see what i'm doing and then you can turn the other channel back on First, probably you apply. All right, so we apply this. Here you go. Okay. So I don't use Serial every day, and def definitely not for something like this. But actually, this eventually saves me another video because many people ask how to achieve Hubble color uh, palette colors, especially on the. Uh, Rosetta Nebula is uh, something very beautiful. This is almost as good as it gets in Serial. Of course, you can work a little more on it because the background is, you know, not perfectly black at this point. 
So maybe we can make it a little darker. There we go. Yep. Or maybe I don't even know if we can add more red to this because that's gonna be probably too much red. Yeah, turn the Try what's gonna happen. Okay, so apply. Can turn the other channels back on. What? That's actually a pretty nice, nice look. Just click apply and then we can make maybe a little brighter using RGB. We're gonna keep it like this, or it's gonna do the purpose. And you can close this now. All right. So basically, we have this image, but in 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 StarNet, we also get another image created, which only contains the star field. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna combine the stars again with this nebulosity image. So we go to image processing, and then we go back to star processing. Click that, and then you see star recomposition. You click that. Now you're gonna have two windows. All right. Now the first window. Uh, all right. Hold first, I guess I'm gonna have to save this image, otherwise I'm not gonna be able uh, to recombine this one. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have to close this again. I'm gonna have to click this one. And uh, let's just save it as. Uh, just call it starless. Fit, and then we just save it right here. All right, save, and then now we're gonna have to open the store processing again, store recomposition, and then, like I said, there are two fields here. This one, the first one, gonna be our nebulosity only image. So we're gonna find, see, we saved it right here in the working folder. It's called Starless Fit. It's right there. And the other one, we're gonna have to locate in the same folder or star field image. All right, which is uh, gonna be something like result stars here. So most likely it's this one. If it's not this one, then. Uh, then it's gonna be this one, but it's most likely this one here. No, it's not the other one. All right. Star mask right here. All right, you see we have our stars right there. So what we can do right now, we you we can use basically we can stretch this image further. So if you use these sliders, now you stretch the stars individually or the nebulosity individually. So when you when you see I'm gonna move this, the stars are changing. Okay. Now there's too much, actually still. Stars are too wide, too bright. So I'm gonna go with the black point probably. You see now they are smaller and better. Maybe that's too much. You know, something like that. And then you can stretch nebulosity also, at the same time. Look at that. So, like I said, I don't want to do it perfectly right now. I just want to show how it works. Sometimes it takes hours to work around with the sliders and, and you know, check the colors and everything and uh, to get a perfect look, all right, so the way you want it. But basically, when you are happy with it, what you need to do, you click apply on both sides. And when it's done, you can close this here. 
and then you're just gonna have to save your image and name it whatever you you know you automatically is gonna name it something like this we can just save it and uh, let's just say I'm gonna save it to the desktop so I want to find it really easy right now click save all right that's good and that's it basically you have your uh, recombined image done all right that's a really awesome tool in serial and uh, the way that you actually individually stretch the store field and the nebulosity that's a very very good feature all right, which I, I really like and I used it for a very long time uh, before I, I got pics inside all right well thanks for watching and if you like it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel